moin and welcome to Ralph's Photo Booth and Ralph's Photo Flight. As you can imagine, today our topic is the unique Q500. I made some videos about this quadrocopter and the topic of today is not the copter itself, but it's the camera and the gimbal. Because when you one of the first uh, uh, pilots who ordered a Q500, you may know that you get these um, small handheld part here and this is not only a plastic part it's a part of the uh, gimbal so you can put the camera and the gimbal here in and use it as a handheld gimbal so you can make some videos during your run through the woods or run behind your dog or your kids or something else uh, and so make some fun videos and how this will work I, sh I will show you now first of all we need some power because the power of the uh, copter the battery is quite big so we need some smaller power and for that we turn the uh, handheld gimbal or the holder and on the back side you see this cover so you press here on the front side a little bit the cover down move it backwards and then you see that we have six um, batteries here to put in six standard batteries i usually use these uh, antelope pros because they they have enough power they last long um, and it's uh, good for the environment to use uh, these um, rechargeable batteries and not the batteries you can throw away so and then we put them in you see the signs here on the bottom of the case and now we put six batteries here in one two three four and then we need two more here we are and number five and the last one is number six so put them in that's it now we need the cover and we put the cover here it's a little bit tricky so be a little bit patient take your time to put the cover in that's it that's the right position then push it here a little bit downwards and then close it and that's it take care that everything is closed and so you are ready here with your hand gimbal so put it on the table and now we have to remove the camera from the q500 but that's very easy turn around your copter and you will see here close to the gimbal i have to turn it around a little bit so you can see it a little bit better here we are just behind the gimbal we have the connector the power connector for the camera and this one we have to open there's a small notch here on this side so you have to put this one in and then pull out the connector like this you will see here there's there comes the notch in and so this one looks like this so you have to press it here a little bit down at this point here to open it okay so that's the first part and now comes the gimbal we have to remove the gimbal and here on top of the q500 you find these these um i don't know how to say but you see you have to press this one down it's not a button it's a plastic part where the gimbal is um, is in so you have to press this one a little bit down and then move the gimbal to the top of the copter you see it slides out here out of these uh, holders then put the gimbal and the camera on your table then put the copter away now we turn again the handheld and you see that we have here exactly the same connector that we have to put in the power later on first 
we have to move the gimbal in. You see here is also the slider. So put the gimbal on the slider and move the gimbal just on the slider backwards. And you see we have the same notch here on the front or nose or how you say. And it snaps in so it's safely and secure. Next point is make the power connector. And one thing on the Q500, this one shows backwards. Here on the hand gimbal, the nose shows in the front side. So you have to turn the connector, put it in, and then you see here we are. Press it down and that's it. So you're done. Turn the handheld, put it on the table. On the back side we have the on-off switch. Here you can see, move it to the right side, put the gimbal on the table so he can calibrate. It takes some seconds till the camera um, get the start position. You see we have the red light here. The camera now turns in the start position. Take some seconds and we will see the green light so the camera is ready. We also have a green light here on the gimbal which, which says you have enough power. Everything is right with the power. And yes, here we are. Now you have the green light. Everything is ready. Camera is set. Gimbal is set. And we can take videos. Oh no! One thing is missing. We have to use the a smartphone to get a picture um, from the camera. So what we will do, we use our smartphone and we go into the Wi-Fi setting here. Go to the Wi-Fi setting. Now we are on the Wi-Fi setting. Go on the right button and then after a while you will see the C go to. Press the C go to and the smartphone connected to the Seago 2. Um, if you do this the first time you may um, put a code in but that's very easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, that's the password to connect both. Then we take the smartphone. Here at the front is a clip. Open this clip put the smartphone in this holder. Take care that this one here is behind the smartphone so it's secured in. Then we go to our my copter apps, Seago 2. That's the app you have download. You have to download from the App Store, either Android or iOS on Apple systems. And then we open the app and it takes some seconds. And here we are. Now we can move the camera upwards. You see the camera is very, uh, is, uh, looks very, uh, to, uh, looks to the bottom. So we turn this dial here and while we turn the dial, the camera moves up. So you can see this here. When I turn it towards you, you see how the camera now goes down. And as I move my thumb back, the camera goes up and down. So you can turn the camera up and down also during you make a video. And you see how stable the camera is. And when I run through the woods, the camera will be stable. And so the picture or the movie you take is very stable. And it looks quite good when you're, when you're walking or, as I said, run behind your dog. To start a photo, it's very easy. Just press the white button and then the camera makes a photo. And if you want to make a video, it's also very simple. Just press the red button and the video starts. You will see the time here running um, you are for your recording. Three seconds, four seconds. So very easy. And again, press the button a second time and the record will stop. Um, if you downloaded the app, um, you have to update it because we have a new function here. You can, if you press this one, you can change the different video standards. So you can change between 48, 50 and 60 frames per second. I use normally 50 frames per second. So that's a new thing. If you downloaded the app earlier, please update it because then you can change 
this one. So, nice feature, nice toy with your camera. You can run around and make some action movies with the camera. So, very easy and very simple. The only problem you have is you cannot um, take the noise around you. So, the, the, the camera doesn't have a microphone. So, it's a quiet movie. It's not a movie where you hear the sounds of the woods or you're running or your dog barking or the kids crying or stuff like this. So, that's the only problem. And um, actually, I tried to use a, a voice app uh, where I can make voice recording. But this won't work on my phone. But does, I think it's not the problem with the phone. I think it's the problem with the Unique app. Because I will show you what happens. Usually when you start uh, recording here, I take this one, uh, which means in Germany Sprachmemo. So it's a memo uh, of, to of your talk. Um, when I start this one and press the record button, you see the recording starts and when I leave the app it works still in the background. You see this here or the the red uh, the red thing says it works in the rec in the in the background and the recording is still working. But now the problem is if I change now back to the C Go2 app, there's a problem and I think actually here we have the picture again. Here's the picture of the gimbal. You see when I move the picture, that's my gimbal. Um, I think the problem is that the Seago 2 app get the microphone also. So it's not only a video app, but it, it catches the, the uh, microphone in the app. And the problem is if you leave the app, you see there's no background recording anymore. Also, if you go to the, to the uh, app here, you will see the record stopped at 55 seconds. Um, and so the problem is, I think, um, I don't know, maybe it's possible. I have tried several apps and every app does the same. So when I open the uh, Seago 2 app for the Unic, um, the background recording stopped immediately because I think that the Unic uh, app um, grabs the microphone and at this moment the background recording stops. I hope personally, and that's what I heard from Unique, that they will change the app in a way that the recording in the background works. So you have on your smartphone then um, a file, the sound file, which you can combine in your program with the video file, which um, is on the SD card of the camera. I hope so. I don't know. Um, maybe it's another way in Android. Maybe there you can do both um, working with the Seago app and make a voice recording. Um, as I said, um, I didn't find a way in iOS to do both. Um, and so the problem is um, at this moment, it seems that you can make a voice recording or sound recording um, during you are in the um, Seago app. Okay, now we have to build it back. If you want to, to remove it um, from the handheld gimbal to the um, Q500, very easy. Go to the back side, turn the uh, camera off turn the gimbal around and then again remove the uh, cable here, remove the connector, press the small nose a little bit inside and then remove the, um, the uh, connector here, press the button here on the front side of the handheld gimbal and move the whole stuff, the plate and the gimbal out of the uh, handheld gimbal and then on the uh, copter it's very easy just turn it around uh, and move the uh, move the plate here in till it locks and then very important um, that you uh, put the, um, the cable in so that's it and then again here we have to put in the cable back um, Yes, here we are, and that's it. So that's everything you have to do. It takes only seconds to move the uh, camera and the gimbal from the copter 
to the handheld gimbal. So that's very easy. Okay, so that's it for today. Handheld gimbal for the Unic Q500. Nice feature, nice toy. Hope you enjoyed my video. If so, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, you can buy some stuff from Amazon and use my affiliate link. So you support the Ralph's Photo Boobs and Ralph's Photo Flight. Thank you for this. And as always, I say thank you for watching. Come back again to more videos about more copters and cameras. And as always, thanks, bye, and moin moin. <laughs> <laughs>